assalamu alaikum and very good morning uh, welcome to chemistry with gs today i will teach you one of the impo most important topic of chemical kinetics and the topic is what are the factors which affect the rate of the chemical reactions so there are certain factors which can affect the rate of the chemical reactions right so the following factors affect the rate of a chemical reactions number one the nature of reactants so the rate of a chemical reaction depends on their electronic configuration reactants vary among themselves and reactivity for example examples number one sodium metals re reacts quickly with water as compared to iron number two the reaction between ionic compounds are very fast while reaction between molecular compounds are moderate the example is of the ionic compounds are is agno3 plus nacl gives HCl plus NNO3. So this reaction will take place faster than the other one, which, which are in the form molecular compounds. So the nature of reactants means the reactant substances belongs to which group? They belong to group number one and the substances which are belongs to group number two. So the substances which are belong to group number one will be will show faster reactions than those re, those substances which are in group number two. And the substances in group number two will show faster reactions than those substances which are in group number three and so on. So the, the reactions of magnesium with oxygen in the presence of a flame is very fast to form magnesium oxide, while the reaction of copper with oxygen is very slow under the same conditions. The conditions are the same. So if we react magnesium with oxygen, right, in the presence of flame, so it will form magnesium oxide and the reaction will be very fast. On the other hand, if you take copper and under the same condition means in the presence of a flame, with oxygen, so the reaction will be slow. The condition is same, but magnesium shows faster reactions than copper. Number two, concentration of reactants. So concentration of reactants also affect the rate of a chemical reactions. The rate of almost all reactions increases when increase in the concentration of reactants. According to the law of mass section, the rate of reaction is directly proportional to the product of molar concentration of reactants. It means that increasing number of moles of reactants increases the chances of collision, which increases the rate of our reactions. So if we increase the concentration of reactants, it increases the rate of the reaction and so on, right? If you decrease the concentration, the rate of reaction will be decreased. If we increase the concentration of reactants, the rate of your, the speed of the reaction will be increased. Example is combustion is more rapid in fewer oxygen. Being 100 percent oxygen is compared to air, which contains 21 percent oxygen. For for gases, if the reactants and products are in gaseous state, so pressure then can affect the concentration can be increased by increasing pressure. If the both substances like NO is a gas and 2H2 is also against the reactants or in the gaseous states and the product is also in gaseous state. So by increasing pressure, the, the reaction will move from higher number of moles towards lower number of moles. Here if you see here the number of moles are 2 plus 2, 4 and here 1 plus 2, 3. So by increasing pressure, the reaction will proceed in the forward direction. So the rate is equal to K, concentration of H2 and concentration of NO. When concentration of hydrogen is double, the rate will become double. If we change the concentration of NO, if when the concentration of NO is double, the rate increases four times. So here, if you increase four times here, you will put in the superscript or the power of NO will be two and that of hydrogen will be one. So one plus two, the order of reaction will be two, uh, sorry, three. So two plus one, three, so the order of reaction will be three. Factor number three, surface area. Surface area also affect the rate of the chemical reactions. So the regions which have greater surface area will show faster reactions than those reactions which are which have less surface area. So when surface area of reactants increases, the rate of reaction increases. So the reason is that with the increased area in contact with each other and the rate of reaction increases when increase in surface area. For example, Aluminium foil reacts with NaOH slowly, but aluminium powder 
powder reacts faster. For example, 2Al plus 2NaOH plus 6H2O gives 2NaAl whole OH whole 4 plus 3H2O. If we take a piece of marble CSO3 reacts with dilute H2SO4, the reaction will be very slow, it means uh, very slowly, but powder magnesium, uh, sorry, powder calcium carbonate, the reaction will be very fast because powder means have greater surface area than piece of marble. Factor number four, temperature. Temperature increases, the rate of the chemical reaction also increases. If you increase the temperature, it increases the kinetic energy of the molecules and hence it increases the collision between the particles, between the regions. And also the reaction which, which is caused by the collision that is known as effective collision or fruitful collision. So by increasing temperature, the, it increases the fruitful collision of the reactant substances and hence the rate of the chemical reaction also increases. So generally an increase in temperature increases the rate of reactions. So temperature affects the rate of reaction in two ways when increase in temperature kinetic energy of the molecules increases and hence molecular motion speeds up. So the number of effective collision increase and the rate of reaction becomes high. Secondly, increase in temperature increase the activation energy. So the higher the temperature, the greater is the chances of the reactants to have energy. Greater than the activation energy and hence higher will be the rate of reactions. So if we increase the temperature and increases the kinetic energy of molecules and which further increases the collision between the particles and further it increases the rate of the reactions. So what is activation energy? It is the amount of energy which is required to uh, cross the activated state. Activated state is the peak point of the chemical reactions. So the reactions which have enough energy to cross the activated state, so they will show uh, exothermic reaction. If the catalysts have no, not enough energy and energy is provided from the outside to cross the activated state, so that those reactions will be will show endothermic reaction. Catalyst number five. A catalyst is a substance which changes the rate of chemical reaction but remains chemically unchanged at the end of the reaction. That is called a catalyst. So a catalyst can change the speed of the reaction. So sometimes by adding catalyst, the speed of the reaction increases and sometimes some reactions, if you want to decrease the speed, so we add catalyst. So the rate of a chemical reaction may be increased and in some cases decreased by the presence of a catalyst. Catalyst is always required in very small amount, right? To influence to speed up the reactions. For example, oxygen is obtained, uh, is obtained by the terminal decomposition of potassium chloride. To KClO3 gives 2KCl plus 3O2. This process is very, very slow in the absence of a catalyst. When a small amount of manganese dioxide M and O2 is added, the reaction rate increases. So these were the five factors which can affect the speed of the chemical reactions. So these factors were, if you go back, these factors were number one, the nature of reactants, number two, concentration of reactants, number three, surface area, number four, temperature, and number five, catalyst. So these were the five factors which can, which can speed up the chemical reactions, which can speed or which can change the speed of the chemical reactions. So subscribe my channel that you receive the next video of the next topic. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.